All right, so this one was kind of a request for uh, differences between an ILI and an IEI. Both are leading with NI. So you can see where that would be the confusion for some people. Um, and by the way, this would be the INTP in Socionics from Gamma Quadra versus the INFP Beta Quadra. Okay, in Socionics language. Um, differences, okay, well, how about let's start with the quadrants. Let's go with that one first. So you're gonna deal with gamma versus beta quadrant stuff. Um, the part that's really gonna stand out more is the, the ILI is much more pragmatic in their viewpoints about the world and their interests in what they want to achieve and go after. Um, they can also be much more critical of people saying that person is useful, that person is not useful, that person's a moron, you know, or just simply saying this person has no use to me. I, they're not useful in me obtaining my goals and me doing what I need to do, or they're not interested in the topics that I'm interested in, and thus they don't really serve much purpose. I don't see much reason to really socialize with them. Um, that can be much more common of gamma, being very achievement oriented, uh, trying to actually accomplish goals, get things done, uh, leading to prestige, titles, accomplishments, uh, kind of what they would say is sort of Enneagram 3-ish almost. Um, yeah, compare that to your IEIs, they're much more interested in the social movement of things. Where is society kind of going? How can society move in the right direction? How can we be um, more humanitarian in our approach and doing things that is good for people and, and society. They're less interested in themselves and their own personal achievements and what they're personally trying to do and much more interested in a broader, more global, more social perspective. Um, there's a difference between the quadrants that you're going to notice. Now, you can see the same thing really playing out in terms of some of the primary functions, or I should say elements that they're using. The ILI has TE and TI. It's a thinking-based type. It's an NT. They're much more analytical in their nature. They're much more analytical about um, most of the things that they do, evaluating things on how well it works, is it practical? Is it effective? Is it functional? Uh, are all the pieces working together? What's all the data and the information out there? What research has been done to show that this stuff works? What's the research showing me that that's the direction I should go in because that's what's actually working and what's been proven to work and so on. Um, much more of that knowledgeable, almost nerdy like approach to things. Right. They really know how the things work in particular. OK, that is in stark contrast to your IEIs who typically have that as a blind spot. They have TE as a blind spot. They are usually less knowledgeable on how things actually work. The most recent data, what do the facts and figures say, uh, what's been proven to work whether their ideas are rooted in, in reality, they're far less interested in those things and at times can really not see those things at all. Um, uh, at times can really believe in a certain ideology, a certain view of the world, a certain view of what is right, what is good and just and moral for people um, and have it kind of based on open this up a little bit have it kind of based on sometimes nothing but a personal a personalized feeling this is my viewpoint this is what i think would be best for the world and it may not be based on much of reality at all it may even come across as total bullshit that is not going to work it's pie in the sky kind of thing they're known for that 
um, they're known to IEIs are known to struggle with um, new information, absorbing new facts and figures, especially if it if it um, conflicts with their views on things. They can be very stubborn on those ideologies, those viewpoints of the world and viewpoints on how they think things should work. Um, sometimes they can have a hard time articulating their viewpoint, articulating their thoughts in a clear, logical, concise way um, because of, again, the lack of TE. Flip this around, the ILIs have a blind spot of FE. They're not thinking about really what's best for society and how to impact society, how to motivate people into what is useful and not useful, excuse me, how to motivate people into what is the right thing to do? What is it that brings us all in together um, um, in, a, in a sort of moralistic, ethical sense? What is good for us spiritually? What is good for us um, ideologically? How should we motivate people, create a movement to motivate people in the direction that we think they should go, where society should go? Um, ILIs are not really usually all that interested in that. They're far more interested in what is practical for them to do. What can they achieve? Um, and often really struggle to get along with other people because they're not playing the FE game well at all. Um, ILIs can look extremely introverted, can struggle to socialize a lot with people. They're probably one of the, one of the types that struggle the most with this that seem very uninterested in, in interacting with other people if it's not in a productive way or something that they view as useful to them and productive. Um, they could really struggle to interact with people, really struggle to emote, show emotion, expression, get on board with, with the mood and the atmosphere of the environment. Um, they can look really flat affect and just, you know, they have that so-called stare um all that is because of the lack of fe or the the crappy usage of fe so ieis get along with people rather well but ilis don't okay they they have a harder time with it by don't it doesn't mean they're fighting or that they're mean assholes although sometimes uh, but it, it just means they are definitely going to struggle to play nice with people a lot more. They're going to be a lot more cold in their delivery. They're going to tell people, hey, this is what it is. These are the facts. Uh, you know, sorry that bursts your bubble and you don't like that shit, but that's how it is. That's how it works. Look at all the evidence. Look at the history of things. Look at the proof of it. That's how it works, right? IEIs can be much more accommodating for people, much more willing to be nice, play along with people, get along with people and avoid conflict and confrontation. Even if they don't internally agree with what somebody is saying, they can be much more interested in just kind of like, let's just sort of go with the flow of things. Um, uh, keeping in mind that an IEI can even appear a little bit like an Alpha Quadra SEI. Um, can seem like some of the alpha quad in that they have some desire to play nice and have people get along and every in a nice environment and things like that. Um, they can have a bit of that. ILIs are really not known for that. ILIs are known to be pretty cold kind of individuals. It's like they're all brain. Um, yes, yeah, so that's usually kind of the real meat of it. Uh, one is just NT, very pragmatic in their approach, focused on what works, getting things done, less interested in knowing how things work, being technically sound and proficient in what they're doing. Um, because of this very NT focus on thinking and so on, they can be much colder. They're just not as good at playing nice and putting on a good smile and and just kind of getting along and just sort of charming people as well. The IEI can do that much better. And the IEI is typically more focused in more social things. How is society kind of shaping? How are people getting along? 
is things working in the right way for people. They really have certain beliefs and ideologies on what is right that may not be based on any kind of real grounded practical application at all. Um, so that's usually kind of the differences between them. Um, in a very stereotyped way, one comes across as kind of almost cliched masculine in that sort of like stoic, very, I know things, I understand information, I've done a lot of reading, I, you know, I'm very well versed on these things. Um, and another can be much more skilled at being sociable, being nice, playing nice, being a little bit more warm when they need to be with people. So it's almost stereotypically almost a little bit more feminine that way. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty much, you know, so they both have an eye on top. They both have a certain amount of SE that they wish they had. So they're kind of low energy um, types of people. So they, they have those kind of things in common, but essentially it almost boils down to an NT versus NF kind of view. Uh, which I have other videos on that discussing those clubs of NT and NF. So you can kind of look into that as well. Um, but pretty much that's kind of where the differences really lie on them. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if there's something else on there. Um, yeah, let me know if there's something else you kind of wanted to know. Uh, I would probably be pretty similar to an ILI. In my approach, demeanor, thought, what, you know, interest, that kind of thing, um, much more so than I would be to like an IEI, for example. And again, it has to do with the whole TE thing. But anyway, that's enough. Let me know what you think of that.